they say it's your birthday. Do 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 do. It's my birthday too. Do 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 do. So I spent my birthday doing nothing except resting. Since I didn't go to sleep last night due to my non-24 sleep disorder, I went on my patio today when it was all cloudy and kind of dreary out, but nice to take a nap. And I fell asleep on my patio for about an hour or two. That's how I spent my birthday. And let me tell you something, the gift to myself, or I should say the gift from God to me, was not giving me a migraine on my birthday. I can't tell you how wonderful it was to have a birthday or have any day with no headache. I literally had no headache today. It's amazing, it's very rare. So no headache, to me that makes the perfect birthday, it makes the perfect day to not have a headache. It's shocking is what it is. And I have no idea why when it was really crappy weather, but who knows? Maybe because I'm 53 and those hormones aren't uh, working like they uh, used to work, so to speak. But anyway, so I went shopping at Dollar General and now, you guys enjoying all the colors because I'm walking by these stores and there's like, <laughs> there's weird lights. So before I looked green and now I look pink. And guess what? Look who's with me. Dusty and Chico. Chico. Dusty. Where's Dusty? There he is. They're exploring. Just went shopping for cat food at Dollar General. The highlight of my life. All right. Well, hope you guys are having a great day. July 10th, 1968 was a very special day. It was the day I came into the world and decided to wreak havoc on my parents. And. Now, I'm still wreaking havoc on them. So one thing I want to tell you guys is that I used to kind of get depressed every birthday, especially all my birthdays over 40. You know what the hardest birthday was? Oh my God. The hardest birthday I think was turning 40 because I was in a relationship that was, I guess, more or less ending. And I was gonna put this on another YouTube channel. Um, basically, all these things that happened to me in this relationship because it's very personal. And so it's a long story and I wanna be able to help people. But let's just say at the very end of that relationship, when I was so distraught because I had found out he had lied to me about many, many, many things, um, I was turning 40. And it was a really, really painful time. I think I have to go back and Remember, I can't do math in my head worth crap. But um, I was either turning 40, 41, or 42. It was somewhere around there. And I was realizing that this was my last chance to, like, you know, basically have kids. If I was going to have them biologically and without doing, like, in vitro fertilization. I mean, really, <laughs> by the time you're 40, it gets pretty hard to get pregnant. So I was going through those horrible emotions of fear that I wasn't gonna be able to have kids and I was with the wrong guy and look at all the stress it caused me. And it, you know, my life was just, it was horrible. Oh, not to mention my dog at the time, my beloved Jackie. Hold on one second, my dogs are tangled talking about dogs, hold on. Hard to do this while I'm walking my dogs. Anyway, um, my beloved Jackie was very sick and I lost him in 2011. July 22nd, 2011. The anniversary of his death is around the corner in like 12 days. So imagine you're turning 40 or 41, 42 for a woman that's a very big, big, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? I can't think of the word. Milestone, milestone. It's a very big milestone, especially if the idea in their mind is possibly to have a family. Because if you're not, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, you know, if you're not some rich person and you can't afford in vitro and you really don't want to adopt and you really wanted to have babies, you know, biologically, then your chances go down after 40 years old. And, you know, all that time I was thinking I would just, I wasn't, like, I wasn't prepared in my mind to, like, have a baby, but I was in a very, what I thought was a loving relationship. So if I thought all that time, which was a seven year period, that I was in a loving relationship, then it would have followed, I thought at the time, 
that I would, you know, eventually have babies, get married with that same guy. However, it didn't work out that way. And there's a dog barking. Whenever I walk by, we're over here by Dollar General, but I like, I know these houses, these people have dogs and they start barking crazy. You guys, that's not my dog's barking, it's someone else. Anyway, um, so, sorry, they're tangled again. Hard to do this, okay. So anyway, um, when I found out that he had lied to me about a bunch of things, my heart just cracked in half. And the whole thing just, I mean, imagine. So losing the boyfriend of seven years, when you're turning 40, 41, 42, then giving up the dream of having a child, because I mean, you know, I wasn't gonna have a baby on my own, and I wasn't going to be jumping into another relationship anytime soon, so I knew time was gonna tick away. Um, and also losing my beloved dog, who was like my child. It was the most painful time in my life. Horrible birthday. So I realized um, all in my 40s, as I was getting older, every birthday, I would feel super depressed. Now that I just turned 53 years old, um, I think I feel more thankful and that I have more gratitude because I think as you get older, at least for me, I'm realizing, sorry, I'm crossing the street, guys, so that's why I'm not looking at the camera. Um, I think for me, I have a lot more gratitude and I am realizing how life short is, how, how life short is, <laughs> how short life is. Life short is and short life is. I'm realizing that. I've always realized it, but as you get older, you realize it even more. And now there's more and more catastrophes happening in life. We've had this COVID thing. We had a huge condominium building collapse here in Surfside, Florida, where people lost their lives. You know, people around you pass away. It's like... It's very emotional. It's very, you realize life is very, very precious. So why would you complain about getting older? You know, if you ever, I don't know if you've ever seen a video or any interviews with Cameron Diaz. Oh my God, it's starting to rain and I do not have an umbrella. Let me take them over here. Come here guys. So Cameron Diaz, she was always so passionate about getting older because she had so much gratitude even when she was younger, like even when she was like 30s, 40s, she had so much gratitude about getting older because she said, what's the alternative? What is the alternative? If you're not gonna get older, you're dead. <laughs> so she always knew and she had a lot of, um, just a lot of gratitude about getting older and I always liked that, that attitude. Anyway, you guys, um, since it's raining out, I think I'm gonna go and make this a short one tonight. And uh, my arm is killing me. I don't have a selfie stick. So I'll fill you in later on what's going on. Um, the reason I haven't been uploading my... i put my little hair sticking up. The reason I haven't been um, putting videos out every single week is because I still have not figured out how to turn my comments back on on YouTube. So I've got to go back and do that. And I'm going to send this video out, video out to some of my friends as well just to say hello. So you guys, my friends, um, they probably don't even know I have a YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel does not have a lot of subscribers because I don't put the videos out every week like I should. But I'm going to start. I always say that, but i got to fix the comment section. It's really pouring out. Is it? No, I don't know. I can't see. I can't tell. Storms are coming over here. All right, I got to go. I got to keep my phone dry, and I'll make another video later and get my comments turned on so I can make more videos. Love you all and all of my friends. I really love you guys. Have a great night.